are you trying to increase your squat? Are you trying to get it up there, trying to max out, maybe get a new one rep max? Well, if so, this is the episode for you. So strap in and get ready for episode 064. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hello, hello. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. And before we dive into today's episode, I want to encourage you to head on over to bonestobulk.com. And right on the homepage, you're going to see where it says free video workshop. And what that is, is I really walk you through a lot of things that I wish I had known when I started. How to avoid a lot of pitfalls and really just make your journey a lot easier. So head on over there. Check that out. bones It's free. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. All right. With that being said, let's dive into today's episode. So who doesn't want to increase the amount? They squat, right? Maybe you've been at it for a while and you just plug away at it and you're doing your squats, you know, regularly once, twice a week, and you're just kind of stuck. You're, you've been at a certain weight for a while and you just can't seem to get over that hump. Well, I've got the solution for you and we're going to dive into that. So first thing you want to do is break up your squatting routine into about four weeks. And what we're going to do is we're really going to focus on something different each week of the month. So we're going to do like a four-week cycle. Now, this is different than cycles that I've talked about in the past. I know you, if you listen to the podcast before, you know about my firm belief in microcycles and changing things up week to week. But this is completely different. So just disregard all that for the purpose of this podcast. All right, so your squat. So week one, you're going to want to do your regular squats. So however you typically do your squats, just do it the way you want to do it. In week two, we're going to change things up a lot. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice pause squats. Now, what a pause squat is, is basically the same thing as a regular squat, except when you are in the bottom position of your squat. So when you're squatted down, you're going to hold that position for three to five seconds before coming back up. The reason this is going to be so drastically different for you is because you're putting so much more tension on the muscles and you're also really having to push harder because you don't have the momentum of that one swift movement of coming down and bouncing back up. You have to hold it and then control it as you come back up. So if you've never tried pause squats, you need to give them a go in week two. Now, you're not probably gonna be able to do as much weight as you're used to doing. So don't, you know, load up the bar and try to crush it while you're doing these. Lower the weight and make sure your form's on point. Make sure you've got your your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider, toes pointed outwards, feet are flat. Make sure you're keeping that straight line as you go down and straight line as you come up. If your back is arching wrong, if you feel wobbly, if your heels are coming off the ground, if your feet are rocking outward or inward, you need to lower the weight and make sure you're nailing your form because training with a lot of weight and bad form is just gonna lead to some severe problems down the road because we don't want to hurt ourselves. So make sure your form is on point, check your ego at the door, and lower the dang weight. All right, so in week two, you've got it. You're doing your pause squats. Now, moving to week three, we're going to do box squats. And if you've never done this, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a box. Typically, you'll probably need to lay it on its side if it's like a two-foot box, because it's probably going to be a little bit too tall. And make it so that it's a diamond pointed at you. So when you come down, it's kind of like a pause squat, but with a little variation. When you come down, you're going to sit on the corner of that box and you're going to hold for a second and then you're going to come back up. So again, it's building that same function of your muscles start to relax as you sit and then you're having to work really strenuously to get back up with all that weight into the standing position. Again, make sure your form is on point. Make sure you're not screwing that up because it's going to throw everything else off. So week three are your box squats. If you don't have a box, you can use a bench. Because a bench is lower, it may cause some problems. You may need to prop it up, but get creative, but figure out what you need to use, whether it's a box, whether it's a bench, 
and do those sitting squats. All right, week four. Now, this is where it gets interesting. All right, so basically the way you're going to set this up is you're going to put the safety bars in the bottom position of how low you go. And what you're going to do is you're going to get in that low position and you're going to start there. You're not going to start with the weight up at top. What you're going to do is you're going to get down in the squat position. You're going to kind of inch backwards and position that bar on your shoulder blades while you're in the bottom position of the squat. And then you're going to take that whole load and squat it up. So you're starting at the bottom and working up to the top. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? And you're going to keep it it controlled, you're going to have to probably lower the weight because this is going to be really hard because you're starting from the weakest position of the squat. In other words, you're not starting from a standing position. You're starting from the bottom and you're coming up and you may not be able to do as many reps on this. The first time you try this, go slow, go easy with the weight, get used to the way it feels. It's very important that you don't just jump in blindly with this because again you want to be safe with your squatting at the end of the four weeks you're going to start the cycle over again so you're going to go back to your regular squats you do this for like three cycles so three months you're going to see your squat progress because you're changing things up now one other variation you can do in week one rather than this typical normal squat is you can do a frontal squat same concept it's it's the same movement pattern you're going down and up there's no pauses no rests um, you're just holding the bar in the front and I love if your gym, and I love the safety bars. If your gym does have one, you can also use one of those because it really engages your core more. But if not, just use a standard bar and use the front position. You're basically putting it on the front collarbone and you don't want to cross your hands over each other. It's typical to kind of do the X pattern and hold the bar when you're doing the front squat. But don't do that. Keep your elbows tucked in and hands should stay on the right side so you're not crossing your hands while holding the bar. So I hope this gives you a lot of good information to go off of of how to work on your squats. You know, there are so many different ways to do squats. Don't get stuck in one method because it's like anything else. Do you do just one exercise to increase your bench press? No, you do a lot of different chest exercises, bicep exercises, a lot of different things, tricep exercises that, that strengthen the arms, that strengthen the chest so you can do it. Same way with squats, we want to do a lot of different elements so that we can increase our strength with it and really hone in on building up our max reps for that. And again, I just want to reiterate, with all these variations, start slow. Don't just think that because you've been squatting forever, you're going to have no problem with these and can just jump in. Like start, even if you just practice them with the bar to where you get comfortable with how they're done. Because let me tell you something, the last thing you want to do when you're trying to increase your squat PR is injure yourself and be out because that's going to set you way back. So again, this isn't about looking cool at the gym. This isn't about showing off. This is about you and developing you the way you need to be developed. So don't worry about all that crap. Just do what you need to do. Lower the weight, get comfortable with it, make sure your form is on point, and crush some freaking squats. All right, with that being said, remember, if you are on social media, please check us out. We are on Facebook and Instagram at Bones to Bulk. We have an amazing tribe of people over on Facebook that encourage one another and help each other grow, share ideas, people from literally every single walk of the journey, like from very beginner to advanced, like we have it all. So there's a wealth of knowledge in there and it's not any bull crap that you might find elsewhere. So check that out if you're on Facebook. With that being said, remember no matter what anybody has told you, what walls you've hit, what obstacles stand in your way, you can accomplish your goals, you can bust through any plateaus that are holding you back. You've got this.